Hi, my name is Dale Rhoda, and I'll be one of your instructors in Module A3 of the World Health Organization's Survey Scholar course. There are three major topics that will be covered in this track. We're going to discuss how to clean a vaccination coverage survey data set, how to weight the data set, and then how to use that data set to generate tables and figures of survey results. This slide describes the workflow that I like to use when cleaning a survey data set. We won't go into all of the details now. There will be a series of videos that go into detail on each of these steps and we'll show you some of the tools, some of the programs that we use to do these steps. As you know, one of the major improvements in the revised manual is the recommendation to use survey weights. And this updates the earlier assumption from the earlier methods, the, the simplifying and really too simplistic assumption that um, respondents had equal probability of selection and that it was okay to assign them equal weights. Now uh, we're, we're recommending a three-step process for calculating weights. We're going to describe that in some detail in uh, videos and in a one-hour session that John Wagai will do in the second week of the course. And um, uh, many of you, if you don't know already, you know, you'll learn the first time you do this that, wow, there's a fair amount of additional work required to track all the things we need to track in order to be able to calculate the weights and adjust the weights. And it takes uh, some additional work, but I think that additional work has some benefits that I've outlined here. Because we're putting attention on keeping track of everything we need to to calculate the weights, tracking what happens in the field, and on doing high quality field work, I think that that extra attention probably has the, the positive benefit of diminishing bias. And then if you document what you've done to keep track of everything and to document that high quality field work, that's also going to give the person who reads your survey report, it's going to give them a sense, a perception that you worked hard to keep bias out of the, out of the survey. And so they're going to tend to trust the results. And of course, once you've waited, then now the confidence intervals become meaningful. They were not very, they're not very meaningful if the probability of selection is varies, but the weights do not vary. And this, uh, we hope, will will put the EPI settings on a similar footing to uh, modern professional surveys like DHS and Mix. You can read, you can begin reading at any time, Annex J in the in the 2015 revision of the manual. And there will be a new revision here in the next few weeks. While this course is, is finishing up, we'll update the manual yet again, and you'll, there will be some new material on waiting. So we'll make sure to provide that to you during the course here. You'll get to see the very latest uh, guidance. John will do a special session in week two, and we'll have some additional movies to discuss waiting. And the last big topic in this course is how to generate tables and figures, how to calculate the results. How do we calculate coverage? What are the World Health organizations recommended indicators for describing vaccination coverage. How do we define the numerators and denominators? How do we calculate them? How do we describe them, use them in a sensible sentence so people understand what it is that we're saying with these numbers? How do we show them graphically? What do we convey about the limitations or any caveats that they might need to note in the report? In this track, there's gonna be a lot of uh, resources. The, the revised manual, the 2015 manual, has a lot of relevant sections, so you'll be looking at those. And we'll give you the updated manual as well. We'll have several uh, videos per week. We'll have three hour-long optional but helpful uh, live presentations in weeks two, three, and four. On Wednesdays, we'll have the webinars that we've all become accustomed and grown to love, and those will be joint meetings with the manager track as well. And then every week, for four days out of the week, John or I will be available online to have quote-unquote office hours. There will be a Skype chat room. And uh, we're also going to set up a separate analyst track, What's Up, a chat for What's Up um, for people in the analyst track. But I want to draw your attention to the fact that we're not planning to monitor that or to reply to it or to emails really on the weekends. So we're going to use a different model here than we've seen in the first 12 weeks of the course. We're not going to be online and answering questions on weekends. We'll be working hard during the week to address your questions with office hours, but not on the weekends. And then we'll try to answer your questions in writing as well. There will be a couple of community exercises, and then you'll have a, a fairly elaborate creator project. We'll use real data from a real survey recently concluded, and um, we'll have you write an analysis plan. 
to describe some things and lay out some table shells, and then we'll have you do enough calculations to fill in one of the tables that you propose in the analysis plan and generate some graphics also to summarize some coverage results. We'll be sharing some helpful programs along the way. You don't have to use Stata at all in this track, um, but I will share some Stata programs that I use to, uh, for this type of thing. And then, of course, if, if you like them, but you prefer a different tool, well, you know, you could maybe replicate these programs or these tools in another package. And in week four, I'll do a demo of uh, a big, the big package that we've written for WHO called the Vaccination Coverage Quality Indicators. Sometimes we abbreviate that Vicky. Here are the details for office hours. You'll be seeing these again. We'll send them out an email, but you can just join the Skype conversation an hour a day, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday each week. If you have any questions, let us know. We're looking forward to working with you through the rest of the track. Thank you.